Thanks for logging on to MyFoxHurricane.com. I'm Jim Weber with your tropical update. And we were talking about this one area low pressure yesterday off the coast, uh, the northeast coast of the U.S. And if it had any chance of developing, it had to tap in to some of those warmer waters of the Gulf Stream. And yesterday it started to do that, it started to gain some of those tropical characteristics. It was labeled as subtropical depression number four. Then today, gaining more of those tropical characteristics and becoming tropical storm Dolly. Now, this is still not a very well-organized system. The center remains largely exposed, but it's gained enough of those tropical characteristics uh, to be called a tropical storm. Right now, winds are at 45 miles an hour. It's located at 39.4 degrees north, 75.2 degrees west. Now, another thing that I said yesterday, regardless of development, this was going to work its way to the northeast, stay out over open water, so it really didn't mean much, and that's still the case. It will continue to work its way to the north, and by tomorrow, it looks like it starts to lose those tropical characteristics once again, dissipating by tomorrow night, very likely, as it works its way over those cooler waters of the North Atlantic. The wind shear will start to increase over the system as well. So it'll be a very short-lived system. Now, another thing that we've been watching is that Saharan air layer. You look right in the middle of the screen, that hazy look over parts of the Caribbean, moving over Puerto Rico, Hispaniola, and it continues to work its way onto the west. That is that Saharan air layer, that dust, which is in the atmosphere. Here's another view of it sitting just to our south. Now, this is all going to continue to work its way uh, to the west as we go through the next couple of days up into the Gulf of Mexico. And as it starts to do so, it's gonna be caught up in more of those westerly winds. And so that will tend to push some of that over the state as we go through the second half of the work week. So that will tend to cut down our rain chances, helps to heat things up because we just don't have as much rain around. Uh, we have that subsidence in the atmosphere because the high situated over the state. It makes for some gorgeous looking sunsets, but the other thing is if you have respiratory issues and you're very sensitive to this dust in the atmosphere, that may cause you some issues as well. But the one thing it certainly will do is it will keep any tropical systems from developing over the next several days in some of these favored locations this time of the year, which is the Western Caribbean and up into the Gulf of Mexico. So these areas, they will stay quiet. We'll keep you updated right here on MyFoxHurricane.com.